Star Wars The Old Republic is here with its new expansion, Knights of the Fallen Empire, which I'm going to call Kofi because everything needs an acronym. Now, unlike normal MMO expansions, which usually concentrate on ruining all that epic gear you work so hard for, they probably do other stuff too, but all I can ever think about is how much I'm gonna cry when I have to vendor that sh Kofi concentrates completely on story. No new raids, no new war zones, just a new story that I think would actually be worthy of a standalone Knights of the Old Republic game. That is, if this was a standalone Knights of the Old Republic game, but it's not. This is SPOTOR! That sounded a lot more epic in my head. It's not quite long enough to be a full game just yet. I watched all of the cutscenes and did every bonus quest in the storyline, and it clocked in at around six hours. But for an expansion which has more story coming? Yeah, I'll accept it. Of course, being an MMO, there is more to do after the storyline is done, but it's really hard to talk about without getting all spoilerific. Which I will do in a bit, but first let's talk about the changes to the game, because Kofi brought in some major overhauls. First off, the leveling process throughout the game has been streamlined. To get to max level, all you'll need to do is the world arc missions and the storyline missions, instead of doing every single quest you find along the way. That's a very welcome change. It really cuts down on the fat. But you will be leveled down to whatever planet you're on, meaning you'll never out-level content. This is a not-so-welcome change. But maybe that's just me. I kinda like face-rolling content sometimes. Companions also got a facelift. No longer do you need to deck out your companions with gear. They just scale with your levels, stats, and achievements. Thank God! That was a pain in the ass trying to deck out two characters in gear every few levels. Each companion can also fill any role now, tank, DPS, or healer. So you no longer have to wait to get a healing companion until you're halfway through the game. These really are just little quality of life improvements that have made the game more streamlined. And these are just the highlights. It would be hard to hit on everything that actually changed. UI changes, crafting changes, cartel market changes, stat changes, small combat changes, and this new alliance thingy. But again, it's really all about the story. So let me wrap this up before I get all spoilerific for y'all. The expansion takes SWOTOR and expands on what it does best. Story. It cleans it up, makes it more accessible, and really gives the people who were wanting the next KOTOR game, instead of the MMO we got, the game they were wanting. But if you were wanting more MMO in this expansion, there's more here for you, but probably not as much as you'd hoped. Now here's where I'm gonna get all spoilerific. So if you haven't played the expansion yet, and you plan to, and don't want the story being ruined, then stop now. I'll just wait. Okay, anyone who doesn't want spoilers is gone, right? You sure? Last chance. Okay, but don't say I didn't warn you. What the f***? They killed HK? He was the best character! Help! Sacrifice! <laughs> Gets me every time. Excuse me, I got something in my eye. I'll be right back. <laughs> And maybe it's just me, but does anyone else find Vei Lin, like, crazy hot? And I don't mean, like, really super sexy. I mean more like she's bonkers crazy for Cocoa Puffs kinda hot. I don't know. It's something about her kill you at the drop of a hat attitude. It's like dating the human embodiment of Russian Roulette. And how about the part when you find out that Sinya is Arkin and Vei Lin's mother? Oh man. <sighs> or the part when you fire the Gravestone Cannon and destroy, like, half the Eternal Fleet? Oh god, that's cool! Or this comedy scene? Which goes on way too long, but it's definitely funny for like the first 30 seconds. Just not the second 30. Okay, we got it! And what about when you get stabbed in the stomach? How the f*** are you still walking? You know what, I don't care, because that's awesome. Or the fight between Sinya and Valen, where Sinya probably causes you severe brain damage. Or this chick! You dying? Can I have your stuff? I don't really like her and I want her dead. Or this! Like a glove. Or when HK saves you from falling? Declaration. Meat bags can't fly. It's okay. It's okay for grown men to cry. Just let it out. <laughs> really, all of this is freaking awesome, and it's over far too soon. The main content here is pretty much the best storytelling you can find in any MMO to date. At least in my opinion. The visuals, the scripting, the acting, the music, everything is pretty much spot on. It has intrigue, twist, action, and everything needed to keep you compelled and playing through to the end. And it stops on a perfect note, leaving you wanting more. Just give me more, Bioware. And fast. Bring back HK, you mother And that was Knights of the Fallen Empire. Rest in peace, HK. 
Rest in peace. If you're new here, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button for future videos. I've also put another video for you to watch right up here. You can also follow me on Twitter for some random thoughts. And if you really want to help out the channel, you can buy some merchandise, or you can donate to me on Patreon like these other Jedi Knights. Just do yourself a favor and avoid any little boys who can't act. They're probably gonna kill you.